In this video, I'm going to show you how to download VMware Workstation Pro for free. This will allow you to run multiple operating systems on your device. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm using Google and all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and then just type in VMware. Then make sure you do select on the official VMware.com website and it should look something like this. From here, what we need to do is we need to go to the top menu and select over here where it says products. Then we need to go to the search bar. And then once we're here in the search bar, you want to go ahead and just look up desktop hypervisor. So let's go ahead and type that in. And yep, there it is. So let's go ahead and press on it like so. And then we should get something that does look like this. So from here, all you want to do is you want to select on desktop hypervisor. Let's go ahead and press on that. And then it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And all you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to select over here where it says download for Mac or download for PC. And from here, you guys can go ahead and select depending on whether you're on a Mac or on a PC. So I'm on a PC, so I'm just going to go ahead and select on download now for the PC version. And then once you're done with that, it is now going to bring you to a page that does look something like this. All right. And then once you went ahead and press on it, it is now going to bring you to a page that does look like this. So if you already do have a Broadcom account, then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and log in. However, if you never use this before, then you will need to go ahead and create an account. And in order to create an account, all you want to do is you want to go to the top right. And then over here where it says login, you will notice that there will be a button that says register. So let's go ahead and press on register. And I'm just going to go ahead and make an account really quickly and whenever you do enter in your email then it will actually send you a verification code to that gmail address so all you need to do is open up your email and then paste in the code right over here the email should look something like this and then you should be able to find your verification code right over here so let's just go ahead and copy it and then paste it over here and then once you're done with that you need to go ahead and complete some more additional information so go ahead and just enter in all this information really quickly and press on i accept and then press on create account and once you have created an account you want to go back to the sign in page and just enter in your email or username and and then you basically want to go ahead and log in. All right. And then once you went ahead and signed in, you will now be bought to a page that looks like this. So you need to go ahead and where it says free software downloads available here, you want to go ahead and press where it does say here. And then it is going to bring you to a page that does look something like this. So it will say free downloads. And all we need to do is we need to go ahead and look for VM Workstation Pro. So let's just go ahead and do that really quickly. Workstation Pro. And yep, it is right over here towards the bottom. So let's just go ahead and press on it like so. And then it is going to bring us to a page that looks like this. Now you want to go ahead and install the latest version. And obviously if you're on a Linux, then you want to go ahead and install it for Linux right over here, but I'm on a Windows, So I'll just go ahead and press on this and then I'll go ahead and press on the latest version right over here. And then all you want to do is just wait a little bit. Make sure you agree to the terms and conditions like so. And then you will notice that we will get like a little cloud icon over here. So all we need to do is we need to go ahead and press this in order to actually start downloading this. And you may need to do some additional verification. So let's go ahead and press on yes. And it might ask you to input additional information like your address. So go ahead and just enter that in. But do not worry, guys. This is completely safe. And then you should be able to download it. And then there you go. It will now start downloading on your device. If you're on a Windows, you might get like a pop up that says unverified download block. So you just want to go ahead and press on download on verified file and then now it will be installed on your desktop so just wait for it a little bit and obviously if you're on a different web browser you can always go ahead and find this file through your file explorer and then looking underneath the download section so just be patient and if you're wondering it takes around 400 megabytes worth of storage on your pc all right and then once it's finished installing you can go ahead and just press on it like so and it might give you a pop-up so go ahead and just press on it yes uh, that's why my screen is black unfortunately you weren't able to see it but it did ask me for confirmation to actually give this application permission and now you will get something that looks like this it will now open up the setup wizard for vmware workstation pro so just wait a little bit then go ahead and press on it next and then you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down and you want to make sure you do press on i accept the terms in the license agreement go ahead and press on it next all right so then from here go ahead and press on next go ahead and press on next one more time then go ahead and press on next one more press on next and then go ahead and press on install once you're done with that and now it'll begin to install vmware workstation pro all right and once you're done with that you want to go ahead and press on finish once it is done and then you will notice that we will actually get a vm workstation um shortcut over here so let's just go ahead and double click on it like so in order to actually open it and then there you go guys from here you can go ahead and start working on your project if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers i'll see you in the next tutorial